Welcome to the Texas Rowing Center. From our boathouse on beautiful Lady Bird Lake, we serve the entire community of Austin. Since 1987, we've taught more than 10,000 people how to row. Our doors are open to absolutely everyone, and our programs are as diverse as our rowers. We offer youth, masters, adaptive, and Paralympic programs, as well as renting kayaks and canoes to anyone who walks up off the trail. At the TRC, literally everyone has the opportunity to experience the thrill and serenity of enjoying the lake. But don't just take my word for it. One day I was down at Town Lake running and I looked out and I saw the sculling shells and I thought, boy, that looks like fun. I walked up to TRC and said, how long would it take you to get me out on the water? And the woman working there said, about 45 minutes. So I did my lesson, I trudged out. I was out for about an hour or so rowing. I thought, oh, this is the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. And um, came back in and said, I'll take a year's membership. We managed to demystify rowing. There, uh, I think for years, it was looked upon as uh, a select group of people. You know, I think it was uh, a sort of culture of exclusiveness where there were just too many boundaries, you know, it's too um, expensive and prohibitive in different ways. I think simply put, our message to everyone is that anyone can learn to row, everybody's welcome. I think TRC has really broken the stereotype for me that rowing is just for the elite because you might expect that it's a group of like preppy country club people, but it's really not. There are people from all different backgrounds and you don't have to fit a certain standard like that. There's no padlocks, there's no combinations at Texas Rowing Center. We open at 6 a.m. and we're open until dark every day of the year. There's no mystique. It's all about the water and getting out on the river and providing a great access point and great exercise for people. And in that way, we're completely different from 99% of the rowing centers out there. Well, the adaptive program truly means freedom to them because a, a lot of times they'll, they'll think about what they used to have uh, and they think that that is all gone now. And so for them, they get on the water and they find this new thrill, this new sport, this newfound freedom and that independence comes and that joy comes back to their face uh, and then it just put, takes them to a different world of if this is possible, what else is possible for me? When I get out on the on the lake and I'm and I'm in the boat, I feel like I'm a rower and I'm an athlete, and, and I don't think at all about being a disabled person. The volunteers that come down and, and, and working with those the, the folks that are injured or, or veteran population, they're just really a, a, the heart of that program. I think they come down and they and make sure that you got stuff right, and and it's really good, you know, that they're they're not going to settle for it's not going to work. It will work, let's just figure out how to make it work. We've had a lot of successes. One young man, he um, has been blind since birth and he basically has to be led to the boat. Um, but once he gets to the boat, he's able to get his oars in and be able to equip the boat to make it um, a personal fit. And at one time, uh, Matthew said to me, he was in the, the front of the boat, so everybody was following his lead, his cadence. And Matthew said to me, you know, this is the first time that I've been able to lead somebody else. Usually everybody's leading me, which really gave, gives me goosebumps. We're the sponsor and host for the Texas River School, which provides uh, river trips for kids who, primarily from East Austin, underserved uh, populations. And those, gr those kids go out for an all-day trip on the river and for many of them, it's their first trip out on the river. And in many cases, they may live close to the river, but they've never been on it. The Latino Moonlight Serenades has brought people, Latinos and non-Latinos, to enjoy Latino music on the river on full moon nights. That is unique. I don't know of anywhere else in the world, probably, where you can go out on a full moon night on a kayak for $10 and listen to Latino music in a serenade. The reaction from the community can be described with, with one short word and then many others, and that short word is wow. It's a constant looking out to bring in folks who would otherwise say, oh, that's just for a certain category of people, I'm not part of them. No, the Texas Rowing Center is there for everybody. We 
we have people from all walks of life. And um, the one thing I would say that everyone feels comfortable there, um, everyone's embraced. It's a feeling of um, a rowing community. Being a TRC member means everything to me. It gives me a reason to get up in the morning. I go down every day, even though I drive 44 miles round trip to do that. It's like going into a world that's positive and leaving the world that sometimes is negative. The Texas Rowing Center's mission is to be the most inclusive boating recreation center in the country. We believe that we've already accomplished our goal and with under 3,000 square feet of storage space and absolutely no running water. Just imagine the access, national attention, and revenue we could generate for the city of Austin with the new Pard Boathouse.